People in these 11 Macomb County communities are still being urged to cut back on water and sewage use. That's because the massive sinkhole in Fraser has almost completely clogged the sewage flow. In addition to the water issues, families will also be hit in the months and years ahead with a huge bill to fix it all. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner joins us live in Fraser with a look at the fix now and in the future. Jim. Yeah, Heather, in the months since this happened, we've seen the governor come out here. We've seen members of Congress come out here, but still tonight, no promise of any state or federal aid. So if you live in these 11 communities, listen closely. You're going to get hit with this tab, as President Trump would say, bigly. So uh, the truth is all of these communities are the ones that are on the hook financially. Uh, for the cost of this. The cost estimates are 80 to $140 million to fix the sinkhole and permanently repair the 11 foot wide interceptor. It's all being handled by the Macomb County Public Works Commissioner. With this much money, how much faith is there? In terms of the accountability, I, I got to tell you, uh, I've been uh, in office eight years. This is the most involvement I've had with the Public Works Department since I've been involved. This is the most transparent process I've seen. That's a direct reference to previous Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Anthony Morocco, who was in office 24 years before he lost last year's contentious election to Candace Miller. Why should we trust Commissioner Miller? This may be the first time that many of us can remember in two and a half decades that Public Works is actually working for the public. This is the third collapse since the sewage system was installed some 45 years ago. The fix could include lining the interceptor with a thick polymer, almost a pipe inside the pipe. But that too will cost millions. I don't know how much this weighs, but it's a couple pounds probably or whatever. So you can think about this lining an 11 foot diameter pipe and, and what the integrity of that pipe will be like once you line this thing. Those officials also announced this afternoon with this virtually clogged, they are getting help from Mount Clemens, which has its own sewage treatment plant, taking now some of the flow from these 11 communities. Heather? Jim, how are they controlling those huge costs? They're not just giving contractors a blank check, are they? No, they're certainly not doing that. Candace Miller says they're taking bids from certified and approved contractors along the way, and they're going with the lowest bid if it's the best bid for this kind of work, and she's sharing all of that, being very transparent with these 11 communities. Those officials say today that's vastly different than what they've had before. Transparency is good. Thank you, Jim.